Hi, I'm Anna from Bitrays. Thanks for having me today. I will be very short because lunch is coming up. So Bitrays is a complete CI/CD solution built and optimized for mobile DevOps. Now, in the next few minutes, what I'm going to do is just show you how to get started with your first iOS build. Um, so I'm uh, logged into my GitHub account, and I'm going to use this to log in directly to Bitrise. Um, and as you're going to see, uh, it will be automatically synced to Bitrise, so I'm going to see all my repos directly on the UI. For now, we'll choose our nice web UI to set up my app. Um, first, I'm going to choose the account that I want to use, so this is going to be my personal account. And I'm going to set the privacy to private, because I don't want anyone to see my secret iOS example app. And uh, from my repo, I just choose um, my iOS example. Then since I don't need any other repos, I will just auto add an SSH key. And finally, choose the branch that I would like to use and kickstart the project scanner. Now, when you choose your brand, um, you should choose the one that has the configuration file of your project, because what the project scanner actually does is that it detects the configuration of your project and sets up a primary workflow. So whether you have iOS, Android, or any cross-platform app, it's going to uh, propose you a primary workflow for the project that you are having. While we are waiting for this to finish, um, I would just like to summarize what we are going to see today. So first, this super quick onboarding of Bitrise. Then uh, I'm going to show you some functions of our Webflow editor, which basically allows you for endless customization of your workflow. And then with all that, I would like to kind of give you an idea of how much time and resources you can save uh, with Bitrise by automating everything that is sort of uh, a non-coding part of your app development process. So the project scanner is ready. It's an iOS app. Hooray! And now <laughs> the only thing you have to do is select your IPA me export method. For this demo app, I just choose a random export method, but you can change this later anyways. A little nice touch is that you upload um, a custom image, which I will skip for now. And by registering a webhook, we directly kick, uh, kick off our build. So as you can see, it started running. And while it's running, I'm going to show you the workflow editor. So most of the cases, um, a build in Bitrise is when you run a single workflow. So, and the workflow is consists of steps, and each these are the steps here of this particular workflow, and each step is a block of a script execution. Um, now, for this particular uh, primary iOS workflow, um, I can identify this because it has like a certificate and profiling sterler step, or for example, this Xcode test for iOS. This would look very different or somewhat different for an Android or a cross-platform app, obviously. Uh, so once you get a little bit hold of this, how the workflows work, you can just try to play around with it, rearrange the whole workflow, uh, remove an app, uh, remove a step, um, I don't know, re-edit, you can chain workflows together, you can create parallel workflows, like basically anything you want. And we have a library of over 260 integrations, all, uh, all for mobile. And it basically allows you to, to, to get started with a workflow with very minimal configuration because we key, we maintain and update these steps uh, at Bitrise. So even if you uh, find yourself in a position that you miss a step, uh, what we have here is, for example, a script step where you can just add a custom script at your will, or all of our steps are open source, so you can also just add your step to our step library and use it at your will. 
And um, before I finish up, just some last detail. For an iOS app, cold signing could always be a problem, but it's a piece of cake with Bitrise, because once you have this certificate and profile instead of a step, you just export your code signing uh, documents and then upload it here on the code signing step and the workflow, or the workflow itself does the whole thing for you. So let's just check. Oh, unfortunately, it's still running because only two minutes has passed. I was very quick. But um, yeah, so this was just scratching the top of the iceberg. Thank you for your attention. Come and see us at the booth. <laughs> Enjoy lunch. <laughs>